Yeah, the bikes are still in the living room, and if you're new to this channel, you'll know that I just moved into a new place, and it was chaos. But we finally got a couch. We finally got a couch. I'm gonna show you guys this new place. But first, nose update. I just got nose surgery. This is day 10 of recovery, and this is how it's going. I'm sitting on my nice new comfy couch with my new nose. It's still pretty swollen. This is day 10. I just got my cast off and I can already breathe 100% better than when I went in for nose surgery. I really didn't need to get my nose fixed for aesthetic purposes because it wasn't that crooked. It was actually the ability to breathe through my nose. See, my nose was like an S inside and it was restricting airflow. And after I watched this Joe Rogan podcast with Laird Hamilton, professional big wave surfer, and learned about the benefits of breathing through our nose, I was shocked. You were explaining nose breathing to me out there. Yeah. That, how nose breathing is better? Better for you. Because of? Well, first of all, you were designed to breathe your sinuses and your nose were designed for breathing. And so you actually emit a gas in your sinuses. From my understanding, a gas called nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. It helps you absorb oxygen. All caked up with scar tissue and calcified. And when I got it fixed, it was like the world changed. It was like, <sighs> I couldn't do that. I just couldn't breathe out of my nose. Yeah. I would go to yoga class. They'd tell me to breathe out of my nose. I'm like, I don't have one. Yeah. I always encourage people, please, if you have a broken nose, please get that deviated septum fixed. Uh, it turns out that like we are, we as humans are designed to breathe through our nose and the benefits are astronomical, especially for athletes. And I'm always trying to look for ways to improve my overall health and performance and just being a happy, healthy human being. There was also another podcast with James Nestor where they deep dive into more nose and mouth situations that can help us improve our health and all overall well-being and, and just what can happen if you are just strictly a mouth breather. I know that coaches in the 50s used to have their runners take a big mouthful of water, run around the track, and then they'd have to spit out that same amount of water into a cup to force them to breathe through their nose, to force mm. them to move their diaphragms up and down a little more because breathing is so essential to the recovery, their endurance, and their performance. What, like, the term mouth breather is a really interesting term, right? Because it's a term for a moron. But I, I felt like a moron, um, like, after I got my nose fixed. I was like, why didn't I do this before? Like, I was robbing myself of oxygen. Breathing through your nose actually gets you more oxygen and helps curb the CO2 levels and increases your performance. That's how important it is to breathe through your nose. That, that coaches would go to that extent to make sure that, that athletes practice breathing through their nose. So now that my nose is fixed, I can finally breathe through my nostrils and hopefully improve my overall performance as a surfer, as a mountain biker, as a snowboarder, as a weightlifter, as just a normal human being in this world that is trying to enjoy nature as much as possible. And hopefully that can extend my time in those, those, uh, those circumstances where my, my energy level is at depleted completely. So I'm super excited for my new nose and uh, it's a huge benefit. If you do not, if you for some reason have your nose broken, Get it fixed. Get it fixed. It's a game changer. It's how we were supposed to breathe as humans. And don't skimp out on it. Make sure you go all in. It's not that bad. The first seven days were horrible, but it's not that bad. All right, this is our living room situation here and our new addition. We got ourselves an Ikea, Ikea couch. No more street couches. What I mean by that is when you're in college, you usually get couches off the street or donated from a friend or a family. We actually did get a nice couch donated from one of our friends. But this is our first like actual real couch that we bought brand new, super stoked on it. And now as you can see, we I'm morning coffee, morning thoughts, camera, crystal from my friend for my birthday and markers to color. And that's the TV mount. See, we got a TV. We got a big TV. I'm watching some replays of Red Bull Hardline. And boom. TV is held up by books. That needs to be changed. So today I am actually going to 
to mount this thing. Josefina is not here yet, but hopefully I can get started on this. And then when she comes home, we can just put this thing on the wall and get these books. Look at these. We've got Hunter S. Thompson, Hell's Angels, <laughs> Wim Hof, legend, legend. But it's time to keep getting this place dialed in and maybe get these bikes out of the living room. But let's, my studio, my vlog studio, look at this. Josefina kind of took it over this week. It's messy, it's messy. There's camera stuff everywhere. Camera stuff everywhere. And paper and drones, Max. Ah, it's a mess, it's been a mess since I've had no surgery, but it's time to dial in this place and get it better. Perfect. TV is tiny. I need a big TV. We actually used to have a projector. This is the first time we've had a TV in over a year and a half. I used to just strictly have a projector. We really don't watch TV. We watch like YouTube videos every once in a while. But I decided we needed to upgrade, get the TV. The place is starting to look way better and actually feel like a place you can live in which I'm stoked. Are you happy about it? I'm super happy. Honestly, I was not that like convinced on getting like a TV. Remember I told you like, yeah. eh, a TV. Yeah. But it's necessary. I mean like we got like a great couch now, like we gotta have like a good TV. And this is like the place we're gonna be, you know? And it's like a big place that so we're making it nice. All right, so keep watching our videos. We'll keep updating as we go along. But if you guys want this TV mount, I'll link it in the description. It's dope, it's like 40 bucks. Like and subscribe, and we'll get to the next video. Thanks for watching.